Hello, in this video, I'm going to model part two in activity 4.2b, model creation. Here's the drawing file, so we're gonna follow the dimensions on this. I highly suggest that you open this on a different computer screen if you have that capability. So let's go into Fusion 360 now. And here's the end result of the part. I'm gonna open a new design, and I'm going to go to document settings and change my units two centimeters for this shape, this part. Let's create a new sketch. I'm going to draw the Z shape first. I'm actually gonna start at the origin with a line and I'm gonna work my way from right to left. So I'm gonna start with the bottom right hand corner of the Z. So I'm gonna to move to the left five centimeters. If I don't hit enter, I can just left click where I wanna place that line and then continue with my line tool, which is much faster. Then I'm going to go up 2.5 centimeters, left click, go to the left, 2 centimeters, left click, go up 1 centimeter, left click, go to the right, um, 3.5 centimeters, left click, go down 2 centimeters, click that in the position, and then go to the right to the vertical axis, go back down and left click to the origin. So now I have my original profile. I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna do the ISO view so you can see it, extrude, and you can change the direction by clicking and moving that. And notice when I change the direction to the this direction, if you notice over here on the right side of the distance, it's negative. So you can actually just do that by doing a negative as well. We want a distance of three centimeters, so it's good. We don't have to change that. We can click OK, and now we have our original figure. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to swing this figure around using my view cube, and I'm going to add a new sketch on this plane so that I can draw that rectangle that we need to extrude. So I'm gonna click here. If you wanna change dimensions now, you can. It's highlighted on my two. I need that two centimeters. My other dimension, my horizontal dimension of the rectangle or width is gonna be 1.5. I can hit enter, lock into place. Now I can finish sketch. I'm going to extrude, select that profile. I'm gonna change direction. I'm also gonna change the extrude depth of 1.5, so negative 1.5 to get the correct dimension, direction, and click OK, and now I have that. Lastly, but not least, we need to do the extrusion at the bottom to cut that out. So I'm gonna click on this plane, I'm going to draw a rectangle. It doesn't matter necessarily where, where. I do want it along the bottom. <clears throat> I do want it to be specifically a height of 0 0.5, I'm going to tab over, and I want it to be a width of one centimeter, hit enter. Now to make sure that this is correct, I can use the dimension tool. Remember the shortcut key is D. I can dimension this, click, click, and see the dimension, and change that if I wanted to. It does need to be one, so I can hit enter. Now it's locked into place. I can finish sketch, extrude, and we're going to extrude it the opposite direction. It's automatically making it a cut. Instead of distance, we can change it to all the way through the figure and click OK. If you click on that view, it's going all the way through. Here's the isometric view that you're going to take a screenshot of, put in a Google Doc, and submit for your assignment. Thank you.